Hello folks, welcome back. Today is March 28th. It's a beautiful day here in Southern Ohio. And today's moving day. We're gonna be moving a bunch of our overwintered nukes into full-size boxes, including the two Paradise B polystyrene B boxes. So I'm gonna film one of them, step-by-step step, exactly what we're doing, frame by frame. I'm gonna take a good look at each frame explain what I'm seeing and then put them in the box probably gonna be kind of a long video but I think it'll be really good explanation on a lot of different things for the newer beekeeper especially the beekeeper that's say only been in bees either this year or up to five years so stick around we're gonna go up and get set up and start filming Top of this box is full. Full of bees. Things waxed in, sealed up pretty good, so this first one's gonna be kind of tight getting out of here, I think. Not hurting too many bees. Again, these frames haven't been out of here since last fall, or late summer actually. Try to do very slow and easy on these first this first frame. And I see drones. I see quite a few drones. And a lot of bee bread. This whole frame, except for around the very top edge, is nothing but pollen and bee bread. That is awesome. Probably got wax going down to the bottom box the way it feels. Lots and lots of sealed brood. Open brood where it's already been hatched out. I'm amazed how many drones I'm already seeing. This is uh, March 28th. We are running slightly ahead of normal this year, but for March 28th, even this is uh, pretty accelerated. We have no dandelion bloom yet. Uh, the purple dead nettle just started blooming a week ago, maybe 10 days ago for the earliest ones. We're still in the tail end of the red maple uh, bloom. 
there's not much else blooming yet so these girls are doing amazing I'm gonna have to clean up some of this drone brood so I can get these frames in and out pretty easy but uh, look how calm they are too I really like this this hive will be evaluated all summer the genetics will be evaluated uh, for possible future uh, mother queens. Let's get a little bit of this cut off here. Come here, drone. Come on in there. Lots of purple eye drone there. I'm not seeing any uh, on these ripped open ones. I'm not seeing any type of signs of varroa yet. Okay. Clean that up a little bit. Just makes the frames a lot easier going in and out. So you're not rolling as many bees. Take another quick look at this other side. so far. Let's see how we can how it goes. A lot of a lot of bees in this newt. Now this queen was raised in early July. She's made it here on the farm. This uh, particular newt started out with um, three frames, uh, one food frame two mixed brood frames, a good shake of bees, and a queen cell. Actually very calm on the comb. I can't stand a runny hive. Very calm on the comb. And for not being in a nectar flow, that's pretty impressive. I mean we got pollen coming in, but we really don't have very much nectar. I'm glad I'm uh, doing this today. Because uh, in a week or so. These girls would be thinking about swarming. This box is just absolutely packed. And they've got boxes glued together really good with uh, drone brood basically. I'm having a heck of a time getting some of these frames broke loose. I'm trying to be extra careful not knowing where the queen is obviously. center of this frame that's open is this absolutely completely laid up with eggs. You got cap root across the bottom and a big rainbow of freshly laid eggs. Or the girls are being very well behaved. I'm trying to get the 
edges of these frames cleaned up a little bit. Solid honey on the outside. They did well with their food stores this year. Did very, very well. Seen a lot of fuzzy young bees. That's great. I'm going to scrape a little drone brood off of this one just to help them out. Help the stream out a little bit so I'm not later on this year having problems with that wax hanging off there. Let's see. box is a five frame, the bottom box is a four frame. Kind of windy today, so I hope it's not bothering the sound too much. off here. I guess I'm going to have to, as bad as I hate to do it, you notice I haven't used smoke yet. Had a little too much of a gap between the top of the bottom box frames and the bottom of the frames in the top box, so they really build a lot of comb. It's all, it's all drone brood at this point, but I need to get it cleaned up. Also, I just need to be able to see what, what's going on. Get the bees out of the way here. A lot of open drone there. So far, I'm not seeing any evidence of Varroa. That's awesome. First frame pulled out of here.
Again, I'm trying not to roll anything, not knowing where the queen's at. She is a marked queen. Uh, some brood in a tremendous amount of uh, bee bread. Some brood, a little bit of drum brood across the top there. Solid uh, bee bread and a little bit of brood. Clean up the edges here a little bit. Doing awesome so far. and lots of brood. Need to take some of that drum brood off the bottom like I did earlier. Same thing. I don't want to be rolling bees when I'm moving uh, when I'm moving frames in and out. We can gently Prepare that, they'll recycle the uh, the proteins where I'm damaging the cells. No, I'm not usually near this slow going through a box. Um, again, I haven't been in this box for a long, long time, so I'm, this is the first inspection of the year. So yeah, I'm a lot slower than normal here. I gotta get some more of this drone comb off of here. Come on, smoker. There we go. I'm gonna push down off of it. And the reason I've got a pretty good gap above these. Normally, I don't use this box to stack too tall. It gives me room to put um, like a pollen patty or some sort of supplement on there. Another amazing brood frame hatching out. Being laid back up right in the middle again. I 
I haven't seen the queen. She is marked, but it's been enough months. The bees can clean that off. Usually there's just a small residual amount, not a good solid dot. See what we got over here with this last frame. A lot of bees still in the box. But I see a lot of bees trying to figure out where the new entry is. They're landing on the other box I laid out front there. Um, they're figuring it out pretty quick though. I'm not seeing near as many coming in this box now. There's our queen. Nice and slow. I love the, uh, the way these bees are acting. We're going to gently put her here in the center. Gotta clean the edges of that frame off. Have to move them over. So gotta clean the top off there. We still have our July queen. Again, this is going to be one of our honey production hives this year. Gently move these frames together. You know, I know she's on there. I don't want to take a chance of hurting anything. Now I gotta get uh, a little more drone brood off the top here. Clean this other box out. And yes, they will get another box immediately. Get another frame to put in here. So we got Walker girls. Being that I know, out of the way, where the queen's at. Frame here, it's a lot, actually a little on the fat side. It's not giving me as much room as I normally like. Let's go grab another pulled frame here. Okay, here's a fully drawn frame. This is uh, out of that dead out. Well, it's not really dead out. The one that um, the queen was missing in, and they dwindled down. I found some late fall. Um, super procedure cells in that failed. Uh, this is out of that one. The, this is a, a one. No, this is a two-year-old frame, so it's still fairly, fairly uh, fresh. It's got a little bit of uh, bee bread around it, fully drawn. 
that queen's going to just jump on this thing and lay it up. Let me clean the edges off here real quick. Again, try to keep the edges cleaned up. Way too much build up on this one. really picking up here I'm sure it's affecting the sound now I tend to keep all my frames pushed off to the one side that way it allows me to pop this first frame out real quick and easy when I first do an inspection this will be the side I'll be doing my inspections on so I leave the gap on this side they tend to pull just like they did on this frame they tend to pull the wax out a little farther um, doesn't usually cause a tremendous amount of problem so uh, the way I do it. There's no right and wrong. You find something that works for you, and if it works, you do it. If you don't think it works, or maybe it only partially works, not as good as you think, try something else. Okay, let's shake the rest of these bees in here. Got a lot of bees here. Front of the, the hive here and just move these boxes on away. There we go. Let's move. A lot of bees coming in here. There we go. A lot of pollen coming in. I think they found their new home pretty quick. Well, there you go. Thanks for sticking around. I know it was a long video. I think it was a really good explanation. You got to see each frame. Uh, the queen's doing a fantastic job. Again, this is a young queen we raised here on the farm last year. We put her in this polystyrene box, put a queen excluder on it, already got a honey super on top because all 10 frames were so full. That nuke box was booming. Uh, They're definitely running two weeks ahead this year. So we're going to do some direct comparisons on the uh, Paradise Honey Bee Boxes. Direct comparisons to a standard wooden box. Uh, we've got some queens that were raised exactly at the same time, coming out of overwintered nukes. They look just as strong. Uh, we're going to just head-to-head -head comparison all summer, and then going into winter, and how they overwinter. So there's going to be a lot of updates on this one. Please follow along. Thanks for watching. See you next time.